Hey what is up guys it's me Joe here and today I have got an unboxing video for you guys which I haven't done for a while now but I've got something very exciting to show you guys which is the Sony XAV602 BT double DIN stereo DVD player multimedia Bluetooth hands free uh, thing for the car. I bought this today and I really want to quickly open it because I do want to try and install this tomorrow but before I do I just want to quickly open the box and show you guys what's inside as I'm very excited Whoa, shit. <laughs> whoops uh, as you can probably see there's tons of stuff at the back so yeah we are going to take a look at this today oh yeah Right then, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the front of the box. As you can see, it's made by Sony and the model number is XAV602BT. It is from Halfords, because that's the cheapest place that I've found, um, which is weird, because I've checked online and everywhere and Halfords seems to be the cheapest place out everywhere. It is made in Thailand, but yeah, that's okay. Not, not China. Damn you, usually it is, everything is from China. Disappointed. Uh, we have the same thing on the side and nothing exciting on the bottom. Um, what else have we got at the back? Well, at the back we have mirror link, which is some kind of thing where you can like link your phone's smartphone screen with uh, on. Do you know what? I don't know what it is and I don't care. Uh, passenger app control for iPhone 4S. Well, I did use the iPhone 4S, but I've got a 5S now, which means it doesn't support that, and you seem to need a uh, another cable to support it. Again, these two things, it's kind of like, I guess, where it would like take whatever's on your phone on the screen, and I'll try to display it onto the uh, this head unit here, but yeah, these kind of stuff, I don't usually bother, so never mind. And this app remote thing, again, some kind of voice messaging thing, but that's for Android and I don't have an Android phone. So um, yeah, like again, I have to ignore that. And virtual surround sound, that's kind of a gimmicky thing. Again, we can forget about that. Lots of stuff we can skip, good. Next, you can see it supports MP3, WMA, WAV, um, ABC, MPEG-4, video CD. Dolby Digital support, it's got four times 52 watts audio output for your speakers. We've got album art displays. And another important thing why I chose this one is because it supports multi-language display, like all the usual European languages. But crucially for me, it supports Chinese. Very good lab because I am Chinese after all. And it's so annoying to have like in my BMW on the iDrive, but it would just display blank or question marks whenever I have Chinese characters. So finally, at last, hopefully I can see the characters properly with this front USB, rear USB and an auxiliary input. Excellent. And it even comes with a remote control that we see in here. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. That should conclude the exterior. Whoops. Zoom, wrong way, sorry. Um, yeah, so let's see what's inside. Right then, here's the top of the box. Top of the box, top of the pops. Oh. <laughs> some screws, a remote control, and some uh, radio head unit key remover thing. Microphone for the hands-free kit, but I don't know if you can see or not. It is a bit ugly. Like there's got some kind of clip here. I guess you can clip it onto your steering wheel or something, but. God, does this thing has to be so big, this microphone thing, because I'm used to like your, your headset type stuff. And this is really chunky and ugly, I must say. The cable looks very long. Um, here we have a amp remote. I guess that's a remote turn on lead. Uh, parking brake, that's to get the signal that to say that you've got a handbrake on to enable videos. But of course, we're going to find a way to bypass that somehow. And here is your bog standard um, ISO connectors. So hopefully it won't be too difficult to connect this to the smart car. And then we have a whole bunch of manual. Very thick. What the fuck is going on? Hello? How do you do this? Some sort of bracket thing, I guess. Yeah, some kind of frame to keep Keep it neat. No idea. 
like this goes into the head unit and this gives you a bunch of inputs and outputs for audio and rear view cameras and other zoom 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 uh, rear audio out, front audio out, uh, reverse camera in, uh, auxiliary input in, so yeah, sub subwoofer out. Yeah, all your additional inputs, which um, is kind of cool, but I'm not sure how many of them I will actually need to use at this point. And then, oh, that's kind of cool. It comes with a carrying pouch for the head unit display because you can take it off. And then we have a, the head unit itself, which is quite compact actually, not too bad. Uh, here at the front, we have the display, so there's not much to see while the unit itself is off, so we can ignore this section. It's a 6.1 or 6.2 inch screen with only 800 by 400 or so pixels, so it's not very high resolution. Here you have a DVD slot, even though you can't really see it, CD DVD slot, uh, only a single disc, and you have a home button here to get back to the main menu and a display button a volume knob but also if you press it down you can s switch to different um, uh, source inputs but all this stuff I'm gonna go over it once I've got it all installed and here we have got a USB input for the front and that's about it so moving on to the back uh, there is a little fan there I don't know if you can see so hopefully that's not too loud you got all your connections here microphone I can see and uh, not sure what that blue one is uh, you've got a whole host of inputs and outputs here, which is cool because you can add like a TV tuner or even plug in a console if you would like, but I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, it looks like it has got a USB connection here, which is fixed, so I'm not sure about that, but at least it has got two USB connections. Um, as you can see there, there's your good old USB connection there, but it is like permanently fixed to it. So yeah, pretty bog standard stuff if you've um, seen these kind of head units for car stereos before. Uh, here at the bottom, we just got a little label saying it's made in Thailand. Yeah, that's the unit itself. I mean, it really isn't that big. It's quite a neat little package. So yeah, hopefully it'll be good. So that's it, that was my super quick unboxing, quick look at my new uh, Sony Double Din stereo headset for the smart car. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, I'm sorry if this one is a bit random, uh, but yeah. Thank you very much, if you do have any questions as usual, please leave them down below, I will always read them and reply to them, as you know, because I have been doing that, unless you are one of those linked uh, YouTube accounts, which I can't seem to reply, but... I'm sorry guys, I don't even know how you uh, leave me comments, but I can't reply to them. There's just not the options for that. So yeah, thank you very much. And I will say good night now, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.